Long wool shield salvage is one part of the process that takes place during a long wool relocation. As shields are used to support the roof during the mining process, an alternative method of roof support must be introduced to allow the shields to be removed. This is achieved by the progressive introduction of Huska mesh and roof bolts along the roof during the mining of the last section of the long wall block. This process continues until all bolts are installed and the Huska mesh rollers have been removed. The odd numbered shields will then be moved in to line up the canopy tips. When the shield tips have moved five meters past the starter rope, the mesh is progressively fixed to the roof using bolts which are installed by RFB bolters. The sequence of cutting the face, bolting the mesh to the roof and moving the shields forward continues until the final shield position is reached. E-frame installation. The E-frame structure is used in conjunction with three shields to support the roof during the long wall shield salvage process. The E-frame sections will be transported into the mine and stored along the face in preparation for assembly. The face side beam is now lifted and guided onto its connection tongue. Locating pins are again installed to lock the sections together. Once connected, the E-frame structure is able to move along the coal face. This is achieved by initially lowering the telescopic flushing shield, then pushing the front push beam forward with the shield relay bars.